Hi, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. I am coming to you live right now. They are having a visual for Malaya Davis, I guess in the spot, which is in Arkansas, Hope, Hope, Arkansas, where they found her body at. And this case is becoming stranger and stranger by the minute because I was coming to you with a whole nother type of interview, with a whole nother type of video. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's see what they're talking about in this in this um, visual today. Get burdened down on this tragedy that had happened to our young Belia Heaven Father. This town of Fulton have a heavy burden. A dark shadow have come over Houston City and this little old town of Fulton. But God, we need comfort. We need our burden lifted up on us, Heaven Father. We need peace, Heaven Father. We've had some sleepless night in the little town of Fullerton because of this tragedy. Now, God, I ask you to comfort us, each one of us, Heaven and Father. Give us peace where we need peace, Heaven and Father. And God, as we hold hands, we stand united with each other. God, I don't know what every burial in each one of them going through, but you know, God. I ask you, God, look at each one of them individually, one by one, and God, to lift the burial off of them because we need you, God, in times like these. God, you say all we have to do is look to the hills from which coming our help. And all our help come from you. In this little old town of food, to need you, God. We need you today, Heavenly Father. And God, we thank you for putting it on the hearts and minds who put this together, God. God, did just a blessing that we honor her, Heavenly Father, in a mighty, mighty way, Heavenly Father. Now, God, I ask you that I will let me live and suffer. That when she was going through this, you laid her and put her to sleep. That she didn't feel no pain, no pain, what they were doing to her, Heavenly Father. And God, I pray that she is on the right side of you, Heavenly Father, living in peace. She don't have to worry about no, no beating no more, no mistreating, God. Because she in the hands of you, God. And God, you'll never let us down, I will let you fail us, God. And God, we come thanking you for this day. We thank you for the one that traveled further distant be here, especially one traveled from Houston. And God, we ask your traveling grace, your traveling grace to get everyone back home safe. Again, to God, we just thank you. We thank you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, prayer will work. I think each one of us can look back on our life. We all have went through trials and tribulations. But when we call on God, God saw us do, didn't he? And we thank God. And God will see this little town of Fulton and the town of Houston through this, God. We thank God for what he, what he did, and we thank God for what he's going to do. Now, it's my honor to introduce the Honorable Mayor of Fulton, Arkansas, uh, Brother Henry Hill. Again, we want to say good morning, and we welcome all of you all being here today. Uh, it's a very solemn time to be here to cherish a memory and show some compassion for someone that we don't even know that have touched our life. Um, we have a, a oath that we take at our church whenever a stranger show up in need to never turn away. Malia was a stranger that came into our heart. And if you look around and see the crowd, she was not, she have not been thrown away in our heart. <clears throat> I'm glad I put a little, some words together today, sir, in order to try and honor her and let individuals here know our compassion for someone who is over, who was bought over five and a half hours or a less than, um, maybe 300 miles to a new destination and now hopefully is in the hand of the good Lord. Today should have been uh, a different, so different. Someone so far away came to us in a very tragic way. Death is a tough subject. It makes people uncomfortable. Grief, I've learned, is really just love. It's all the love you want to give but cannot. 
but the passion over the past week of the different individuals in this community shows that we have unspent love. You have come here for this gathering, and we want to thank you for this. I want to end this, and when I was thinking about her, reading the different things about this young lady, Malia Davis, February 2015 to May 2018. And I ran across this poem by Maya Angelou. I want you to just listen to what we're going to say here. She said, I know why the caged bird sang. The free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream into the current in the dip in his wing and the orange sun rays sands dare to claim the skies. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped, his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. Maya is singing today. The free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade wind soft through the singing trees and it floats fat worms wait on a dun bright line and he named the sky his own. Hopefully she's in heaven with God today. But a caged bird stands on the grave of dream. His shadow shouts and a nightmare scream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. Maya was singing. No one was able to hear. But today, hopefully, with the good Lord, that will be a different, a different tune for her. Someone is singing for her. And last, he says, the caged bird sang with a fearful thrill of things unknown but lone for still. His tune is heard on the distant hill of the caged bird sang with freedom. She has freedom. As the pastor say now, she doesn't have to go through all those pains and mistreatment. She's the caged bird that has been lifted up from earth, hopefully with God in heaven. So we give praise and thank for each one of you all for coming out this morning being able to have that compassion and love to show that even though someone is so far away, have touched our heart today. I thank the young lady for organizing this. Uh, we came down each day and looked at around the corner where the incident uh, had taken place and kept seeing the people stopping and stopping and stopping. But today is a blessed day. I don't know what is happening in Houston today, but I do know that in Fulton, Arkansas today, there is a lot of love. And if you don't think there's a lot of love, look at the crowd that we have today. Hopefully that someone here is going to take pictures or is recording this to show people as far away as Houston how we feel about a stranger that we never met. May God bless. At this time, I'm going to ask if Laura Beth Martin will come up and she has a few words also. Malia Davis was born into this world on February 6, 2015. She was reported missing on May 4th of this year, and on Friday, May 31st, the people of our community found a small body encased in a garbage bag. We would wait three days until Monday, June 3rd, before authorities in Houston, her home city, would confirm our worst fears. The child was Malia. Malia was her name and she deserved better. She deserved to have a life filled with love, hope, peace, and community. She deserved a future that has been robbed from her. Right now, as our grief consumes us, it can be hard for us to consider the abuse she suffered in life, the death she endured, and how she was discarded with no care after her death. There is no sidestepping what happened to this innocent African-American child. It is the definition of horrific. But we as a community who seeks to love one another and to grow closer together by facing the hardest things are not turning away from Malia. We have taken her into our own hearts and loved her fully. We are embracing her in death the way she should have been embraced in life. Our spirits are broken because her body has been broken.
I have listened to your hearts this week and have been gently reminded of Luke chapter 2, verse 35. This verse is part of a passage where Jesus is presented to God in the temple of Jerusalem as an infant. A righteous man named Simeon makes some statements to Mary about the future of Jesus, but he also says something very important to Mary about her. In the last line of verse 35, he tells her, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Friends, this is what we are experiencing in our community. The cruel death of Malia has not only pierced our hearts and minds, but also our souls. It has moved in us to create grief, fear, confusion, frustration, and a holy, righteous anger. And rightly so. But it also has given us a love for a child that bears neither our name nor our DNA. And that is a miracle. Friends, while we stand knee deep in our grief, I have to ask you, what will we do with Malia's miracle? What do we do with this awareness that she has so generously gifted us with by sharing her precious life with us? I believe we should honor her miracle with action because Malia is not the only child who lives in danger. Many of our children in this community desperately need us to wake up to their situations. They need us to volunteer at their schools, become their foster parents, pay their sports fees, take them to church, and build them a YMCA. They need us to see their needs and respond to them. Every child in our community is our responsibility because every child is Malia. We cannot afford to lose a single precious one of them that God has seen fit to give us. Let us take this love and energy and funnel it into the children of this community so that each of them knows how desperately we love them, how much God loves them, and how much we want a future for them. Let us become their protectors, their advocates, their teachers, their encouragers, their counselors, their listeners, their supporters, and their champions. May our presence here today be a statement to everyone that our community values every single life within it, regardless of race, gender, or country of origin. May we always honor the miracle of Malia by becoming a community that never stops fighting for her children. And may we leave here today keeping Malia in our hearts and thanking God that he gave her to us and that we remember her always. At this time, I was looking to see where she was at. I'm going to ask uh, Miss Betsy Carter if she's going to come up and sing a song for us. and I wanted to read uh, for those who didn't receive one what it says under Malia's picture an eternal memory of a little angel today it would be wonderful to see you play or smile but heaven lent you to this world for just a little while and in that short but precious time you brought along with love and all the love that is with you now is up in heaven above your leaving caused so many tears and such a lot of pain but God needed one more angel so he took you back again. No, you're not here, but you're not gone. And in our hearts, you. Um, this is the visual that is done for Malia Davis in Hope, Arkansas. I don't know what they're doing in Houston, but this is what they're doing in Arkansas. I have a lot of video to bring y'all. I'm going to try to bring it to y'all within one hour, which is crazy. Listen, I ain't been outside in three weeks. I'm going to go catch me some sun today. But, there's a lot of strange things going on with this case. There's a lot of miscommunication with the broadcasting and the cops. And the cops are saying one thing and then the news people are saying something totally different. Then it is just a lot going on with this case that I want to bring y'all. So if y'all want to keep tuning into this live visual, 
Y'all can go ahead. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. It's probably on Facebook. The only place I can't really see it on is Instagram. Facebook probably got it. Twitter probably got it. And I know for a fact this is YouTube, baby. And we got it. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to go into my next video. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. And there's more to come. Because this is not the only thing I want to bring y'all. happen. so before I did my video. This happened to come on at the same time. So I figured I'd bring y'all this real quick. As an introduction to all the videos that I'm about to do. I have to probably at least do like at least two. Maybe, if that. I'm going to try to fit everything into one video. I don't like to drag out videos or none of that. But, um, yeah, this is the vi this is the visual that's going on for Malia Davis now. And it's just so sad. Because this little girl didn't have to die. And I'm starting to believe that her mother did this. And I'm going to tell you why. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, let's see what else they're saying before I... To be born at a, a date that you pass away. All I have is February 2015, the date of birth of little Malia. And May of 2019. She deserves more than that. She deserves better than that. But sometimes... Yeah, but... This is the live visual that's going on. It's all over YouTube. Y'all can go tune in. I'm going to my next video. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will hit y'all in the comments.